guys, it's Critter Girl, and I'm getting ready to feed Bendy. I just cut her mouse out of its little packet, and as you can see, she can already tell what's happening. Um, because she's already very ready to be fed, I'm not going to pick her up during this feeding. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful strike right there. Um, as you guys know, I like to hold my snakes when I feed them, but she was already quite ready to be fed, so I figured I would, um, just do it that way. Sometimes she likes to eat under her tree. She feels safe in there, so. Okay. This is so handy. This pulls out, and it came with these little keys, and you drop them down in these little holes. And now it won't open. So, that's handy. Because a snake the size of Bendy is definitely strong enough to push that open. Oh, she's almost got it down. Cool. Okay, and here is Dixie's food. Um, I'm going to go over to her. Um, Rosalie is not going to get fed yet. Um, the lady at Pat Smart suggested that we wait a few days and let her get to know us before we attempt to feed her. Especially because I hand feed. Um, put Bendy's heat lamp back. So I'm going to start. Um, they don't know when she was fed last. Because they actually just got her in at PetSmart. They just received her to sell her. The day before yesterday. The day before we got her. Um, so they don't know when she was fed last. So I'm going to wait until next Saturday. And the only reason I didn't feed these guys on Saturday like I usually do is because um, we were working with their cages and snakes have to be left alone after they've eaten. And, um, you know, I didn't want to bother them after they had eaten. I wanted to finish the cages and stuff before I tried to mess with them and feed them. Well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. thought I said that out of order. Okay, I'm going to turn her heat lamp off. I'm just gonna reach it over here. Well, hold on a second, guys. Okay, guys, sorry I had to sit that down. Um, don't worry, it's not hot enough to like burn that. It's I touched it and it's not, it's good. So bedding just falling on the carpet, that's okay. Okay, this is Miss Dixie's cage, and we have to find her. Let's see. I don't know if we'll do a handle feeding with her today or not. Um, by the way, guys, the hammock that I showed you last night that we got for Eve, she is in it this morning. Did that just fall? Oopsie. Her little tree branch fell. Okay. Um, give me just a second, guys. Let me um, cut it up in her mouse and find her real quick. Okay, here's her mouse. And when it's this small, it's referred to as a pinky. Um, the one I gave Bendy was called a fuzzy. Okay, let's move her leaves. And dig her out. Well, last time she was buried whoops, behind her little vines over there. That's the thing about little snakes. Like, it takes forever to find them in their cage. They love to hide. Let's see. She was buried back here earlier. Um, let's see. Where is she? Maybe she's under a water dish. Oh, sorry about this, guys. Oh, found her. <laughs> Accidentally got her tail. I got you. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. There. Here she is. Danger noodle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, Dixie. I'm gonna pause you guys just for a second because I gotta. Um. Well, 
I can't really video while I, well, maybe I can. Hold on, guys. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Let me put her water dish back over here. Um, I cannot find the top half of my tripod, so when I find that, I will be able to give you guys better quality videos. Here, baby. Good job. <laughs> she almost missed it. Oh, no, don't get bending all over it there. I really hope you guys can see. Okay, I'll the camera down. Okay, so we're doing a handled feeding with her today. I fed her on top of the log because since she's little, I don't like for her to eat bedding if we can help it. It wouldn't hurt her if she ate like a couple pieces because snakes in the wild obviously eat dirt and stuff on their food all the time. But I like to try to avoid that if I can. So I feed her on top of her little log. <laughs> and guys, I was gonna um, tell you um, you guys may wonder why I keep on and keep on getting corn snakes, because you guys know, obviously, I love all types of snakes, but, um, the reason, I have a couple reasons, actually, one of the biggest is just the variety that you get with corn snakes. Um, there are just so many different colors and patterns and, uh, markings Slept weird on my shoulder. Okay, there. <laughs> anyway, there is just such a huge variety of beautiful color patterns and markings and things on corn snakes. And you can see a huge variety just with the three that I have. And at the pet store last night, I told you they had a solid white one. I have seen several solid white, solid gray. Um, I have seen a solid red. Like, no markings, just solid. Like, these scissors, solid red. It was beautiful. Um, I've seen bright orange. I've seen dark orange. I've seen brown. I think there's... I've never seen one, but I saw it on the internet. There's one that is almost like black. Black and gray. And that's just beautiful. So, um, there are like real, real albinos that are like white with just red eyes. And that is so cool, I think. Um, but... I just love corn snakes because there's such a variety you get with them. And I'm going to put her lid back on real quick. It doesn't ma I mean, it's like, they're like snowflakes, really. It doesn't matter how many you see or how many you buy. You will never have two that look exactly alike. And I think that is so cool. And not only are their colors and markings unique, but they each have their own unique personality. Like, with a lot of snake breeds... Each snake of that type acts the same as the next. But with corn snakes, each one has their own personality, their own little quirks, that they're things that they like, the things they don't like. Um, okay. Oops, I forgot her leaves. I'll put those in once she's done. But, you know, they're just there's just so much variety in personality and color with them. And... Also, financially, they are pretty cheap um, compared to other snake breeds. I'm not sure if corn snakes are considered exotic, exactly. <laughs> She's trying to hold her little head up. Dixie, keep your head on the log. <laughs> She's not having a seizure, guys, I promise. She's just like... It takes a lot of strength to hold her little head up, and she doesn't quite have that strength yet, so. It's like when you're doing, like, lifting weights, and your arms start to quiver. <laughs> um, yeah, but, anyway. Um, it's good for her, that makes her strong, builds muscle. But, anyway, guys, um, what I was saying is, I just love the variety you get with corn snakes. And also, they're cheap. Like, it, it, I mean, it depends on where you buy them, but in, like, most pet stores that I go to, I think all the pet stores I go to that I can think of off the top of my head, corn snakes were probably one of the cheapest snakes that they had. Like, 
let's see, where I got her, she cost $110, where all the other breeds were $200 plus. And at PetSmart, um, Bendy, I got Bendy and Rosalie on sale. Um, both of them, I managed to catch them on sale. And they were like $60 originally, but I got them for like $40. Um, but all the other snakes were like $80, $90, $100. Um, and at uh, Pet Supplies Plus, the corn snakes are among the cheapest there, too. They're expensive, Pet Supplies Plus is. But corn snakes were still among the cheapest. And rat snakes. Did you guys know that corn snakes are technically rat snakes? A name for corn snakes that is commonly used for them in the wild is the red rat snake. But, yes, you can get rat snakes for pets. I've seen them at Pet Supplies Plus. Every now and then you'll see you get a deep breath and work a little bit more. Now the tongue starts flicking again. That means her airways are clear and she has swallowed it successfully. So that's good. Um, Bendy's feeding today was just short and sweet. I like to do those sometimes. Um, especially because she was just so excited to eat. Yo, you guys could see that. Like, I don't know. I think she smelled the mouse maybe. Or, I don't know how in the world she knew, but man, y'all, she knew. <laughs> Let's see her little, can you guys see her face? She knew what was happening and she was excited. So I didn't want to mess with her and get her out and everything. I just wanted to give her what she wanted because she was looking forward to it. Um, so yeah. So that's what I love about corn snakes. They're cheap. They come in a lot of color and pa colors and patterns. Each and every one is unique. And they all have such cute little personalities. So, And they're generally pretty friendly. They're probably one of the least strikey snakes there are. I mean, obviously... Well, there was a strikey snake at the pet store last night, but... I mean... Um, if you get a young one that's strikey and handle it properly and frequently, you could, you could correct that. But, you know, I'm just saying. They're one of the easiest snakes to tame... I guess you could say, because they're just, they're just perfect for pets. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this nice little feeding. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like snakes, I know the people who do like snakes, especially as much as I do, are few and far between. But um, if you like snakes, let me know what your favorite kind of snake is down below and why. So have a good day, guys. Goodbye.